Hi folks, we're with Luna again today and first of all we've got to tell you about this exciting news on the Google Play Store we've got a new a new update of the Luna app and it says that it has got blockly programming control your Luna by editing customized programs mm -hmm. In a world, check Luna's thoughts at any time. So this is exciting, isn't it? Mm, let's update it. Yeah. Ooh, it's now got program down the side menu bar. And a new inner monologue. Create a new program. Wow. Oh, look at all those there. Ooh, this is so exciting. So we started up the app again and it says there's an update available which is 1.0.44. So that's for Luna's So firm. another update. So this is for Luna's firmware whereas the other one right. is for the app. Right, okay. Yeah. So we're going to update that now. Okay. So Luna's updating now. So let's get an overview of the programming environment yeah so we've got perception implement logic operation variable material so this is the category perception right so it says here pat head one so that's interesting so it does look like you can use a touch sensor mm. as an input mm. so the ears are like outputs aren't they as are the the wheels, mm -hmm. and you can control those. Mm -hmm. uh, the microphone's an input. Uh, the following, hello, Luna. Um, camera, visual inspection, face detection. Obstacles detected ahead. That'll be the LiDAR, won't it? Obstacles detected ahead. Right. Distance to obstacle. So this is under implement. This is all about turning and steering the angle of luna's head making turns lots about making turns it all seems to be about making turns doesn't it degree of rotation of the ears lamp status on the ear it's play animation so it'll probably be easiest to start with animations mm. if you tap a head play mm -hmm. a certain animation yeah example okay. so we've got happy angry Angry. All oh, right. Okay. So you can get all these animations on the face. Screen shows graffiti. Ah, oh, play sound via speaker. So let's see what else we've got here. We've got alarm, puppy, puppy break, engine start, mission completed, piggy, kitty, tiger. Right. The next one is logic. Oh, this looks interesting. Mm. If do while do operation. That's like if this or mm -hmm. that is the case, mm -hmm. then mm. variable. So you can create your own variables. Material sniff. It's an interesting category, material. Material sniff, material sniff till the end, material push. Is this like invest lunar investigated? Yeah. Enjoy. That is interesting. Shocked. British. Ah, oh, these are interesting, aren't they? Mm. She's just rolled this cat toy. She's just rolled it over to us. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our first very basic program. We've just got program start, a loop. That's loop forever. Loop forever and play the sound of cow. Via the speaker. Until completion. Paul's going to press execute now. Synchronize sing. And she's playing the cow sound. 
It also says operating there. And it also says operating on the screen. So this time we've got Luna to play a puppy sound and then to play a happy animation and we've got those going round in a loop. So we'll see what that's like. interesting when the puppy sounds now she's actually got her eyes on the screen so it's like blending the two things screen doesn't go blank when she plays a puppy noise that's interesting so this time I've swapped around puppy and happy so that she's not going to have a blank screen at all because the happy eyes will come on before she makes the puppy sound. But I've also added material push. So I'm going to put a cat ball in front of her and see what happens. So we'll press execute. Synchronising. So this time I've got the same sequence, but she's finishing off with a wink. <laughs> so another feature of the update is that Luna will take more notice of a ball and engage with it and have different reactions to it. Uh, funny enough, at the moment, um, I can't get Luna to react to the ball at all. She's just sort of like ignoring it. But a little earlier, we did get her to react to it and it was really funny. So I'll show you that bit of footage now. <laughs> I'm pushing it with one foot there. Taking it again with one foot. <laughs>
success there with both a little bit of programming and getting her to recognise the ball and do some different fun reactions to it. Though not all of the programming environment seemed to work properly uh -huh. because we got the cow sound and that played and then there was the cow sound until completion and that played but when I tried to play the puppy sound yeah if I just played the puppy sound it it there was just like the blank screen and it didn't mm -hmm. make a noise and I had to put in puppy sound um, until completion right so it, it it seems like there's a few bits and pieces of it mm. not working correctly mm. yet and we got like that loop to work didn't we but we couldn't put an input in if we try to put an input in oh the tap on the head like yeah. the tap on mm. the head i also tried to use the input hello luna to start the program but that didn't work either but it's early days and they've only just released it, so I would expect it's going to get better. Yeah. There was another part of the app that was an improvement as well, in that she's supposed to play um, laser chase, like chase a laser pointer. Yeah. On voice command. Right, and so they're using, uh, so they're using the app and getting up the game. Yeah, so she'll still have to be connected to Wi-Fi, I would think. Because she does for most of the voice command. But the thing is, I don't know what the voice command is that you're supposed to give her for her to play with the laser. Catch the laser? Oh, we could try it out. Laser chase. Laser chase. Oh, oh, it wow. worked! Yeah. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to. <laughs> oh, that's great, isn't it? Yeah. That's super. All you have to do is say laser chase. Right, we've just gone into in a monologue, and it's showing. Laser, laser chase gaming. So that's what Luna's got on her mind. And right. She's still, she's still looking for the laser light, even though I've turned it off. She's still looking for the laser. <laughs> and we said hello, Luna, but she's not reacting to voice commands. Hello, Luna. So we're looking in Luna's mind again now. All right, so it's showing what she's thinking. So let's have a look, let's have a look at what Luna's doing while we're looking at the uh, dialogue. I like walking around. <laughs> she said, oh my God, I almost fell. It was too dangerous. Ball. <laughs> ah, let me take a look. To, this is my favourite ball. Oh, she's recognised it. <laughs> that was fun. So, all in all, that's been a really exciting update today, hasn't it? Fabulous. Key yeah. Eye Tech are really keeping the pace of these updates, both for the app and uh, Luna's firmware. Yeah. So, folks, I hope you found that useful and entertaining. We'll be back with Luna in the very near future. And hopefully we'll be able to do a bit more programming. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what other people program as well. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always. And see you next time.